Sony definitely thinks differently when it comes to the world of smartphones and earbuds. And the WF-1000XM4s is definitely a prime example of that. I mean, they look different, they definitely cost a lot more, and they have some quirks that have uh, driven me to stop using them after a year of definitely happy use. This is my review, let's get into it. Before I get to what drove me away from these earbuds, uh, I really want to say that over the course of my one year of like bug-free use, uh, these earbuds have been fantastic. The sound quality, the fit, all of it has been purely amazing. And if you don't experience any of the issues that I have with these earbuds, you should definitely still keep using them. This is just my experience, and I think I just got pretty unlucky with the bugs. So to start off with the good stuff, uh, the WF-1000XM4s, well, okay, that name is really, really annoying, and it's a mouthful to say. So I'm just going to shorten it down to the XM4s, as we're talking about the earbuds here, not the headphones that have the same name, but with one letter difference. Yeah, it's a little complicated, but for the purpose of this video, I'll be referring to these as the XM4s from now on. So the sound quality on these is expectedly amazing, right? Sony makes these and they have a track record of making really, really good wireless sound products. Uh, I use their wireless headphones, the XM3s, from a couple uh, years ago, and they still perform adequately to this day. I use them with my PC usually, so they're plugged in. But the audio quality is always clean, crisp. I don't have any issues with those. And the same thing uh, happens here with the XM4 earbuds. Uh, these earbuds sound quality is really good if you know how to tune them the right way as there is an EQ setting in the app which allows you to customize the sound to your taste. For me personally, out of the box, these headphones didn't really sound that good to me. They, they sound a little bit muddy, too bass heavy, and for the things that I listen to, I would prefer having a more treble or like an equal sound uh, like soundstage because I listen to podcasts, music, YouTube videos, like I have very diverse uh, things that I listen to so I think a clean simple soundstage is better for me than what you get out of the box. But it is better than earbuds like the AirPods Pro in this regard as you can customize the sound, it's not locked to whatever a certain company forces you to listen to. Anyway, yeah, the sound quality in these is really, really good. You will not have any issues with that. Next up is the fit. Uh, the fit is entirely determined on your personal ears. So I will say this outright. If you have smaller ears, you probably, these probably will just fall out. They won't even like fit all the way in. Uh, the earbuds have like a bulbous design that Basically, so the, so the ear like tip that like goes into your ear is very small and narrow, right? So that part won't be an issue for, more, for most people as it gives you uh, three different ear tips out of the box. They're foam tips. I don't like foam tips personally, so I got silicone tips. But the performance between the two is probably not going to vary at all. What is really important here is the fact that these earbuds, um, they're really bulbous, as I said earlier, and so if you don't have big ears, they won't sit comfortably in your conch. They like they will, they will like show out, and you will get like an air gap in like a very noticeable gap, and it'll feel like because the headphones are so heavy, uh, it'll feel like the headphones are like falling out of your ear, right? Uh, so I would advise you that if you have small ears, like physically small ears don't buy these headphones. Even if you customize the tips, they'll probably fall out of your ears or won't even fit at all. Other than that though, for me personally, when the earbuds are fitted into my ears, they don't fall out. I've had like rare occasions where after maybe a couple hours of listening, uh, they will start to hurt on like the top part of my ear over here. Uh, but like other than that, these are really comfortable earbuds to wear. I prefer silicone tips as I feel like they just feel better in my ear. Foam feels like there's water in my ear. This it, It's just a personal preference thing. You might like foam, I don't. It, it doesn't matter. But 
The comfort and fit of these earbuds is really, really great. And obviously, the AirPods Pro is the thing to beat in terms of comfort. I don't think it beats that just because they're so much heavier, right? AirPods kind of feel like there's nothing in your ear, especially if you have transparency mode on with the, Air with the AirPods Pro. It feels like there's literally nothing in there. But compared to the AirPods, these do a pretty good job. Now for battery life. This is where my issues have started to come in recently, especially over the past couple months towards the end of 2022, if you're watching this in 2023. Um, yeah, these earbuds have a weird battery drain issue. So whenever I put them in my pocket, they will sometimes randomly auto connect to my Pixel 7 Pro. And I don't think this is an Android issue because it happens with my iPhone sometimes too. Uh, they will auto connect to my phone and then simply stay connected. I'll hear audio playing through these while the case is closed and in my pocket. That shouldn't be happening. Definitely not a marketed thing. Like it's, it's not, it shouldn't be possible, I don't think, because I thought when you close the case, they turn off. But anyway, uh, so I did some research and I think that the static in our clothes is like triggering these to turn on, like kind of like shocking them on. Kind of like how you shock someone's heart, like when they're dying, like in the doctor movies or whatever. I don't know. Um, yeah. So it's a little weird and it's very inconvenient as sometimes I'll take them out of my pocket after, you know, just like walking around or just a day and they'll be dead. The case will be almost dead as well. And that's not really, you know, good when I'm trying to use the earbuds. Uh, as they have no charge. But regularly, without the battery drain issue before that started happening for me, uh, the battery life on these was excellent. I was getting uh, around four to five hours with ANC on and transparency mode on, switching between those two. And the case lasted me for about four to five days with roughly three hours average use a day. I don't use my earbuds terribly often. I am at my computer, so I do use my headphones too. Uh, but the battery life on these regularly is definitely excellent. Uh, but, I mean, compared to earbuds like the new... Well, not new, but I got these recently. Uh, the Beats Fit Pro. Uh, for the size that they're packing, I mean, this is really great battery life. Uh, I really don't have anything to harp on the battery life when it's not buggy. However, they are buggy and they are buggy often. And even when the case doesn't randomly drain in my pocket, the right or left earbuds will sometimes drain much faster than the other while I'm using both simultaneously. So that is a little bit of an issue, though I have experienced that to some extent on the AirPods Pro where my right earbud will drain just insanely fast compared to the left earbud. So some, some of these bugs are not only on the XM4s, but they are more prevalent and they happen much, much more often on these earbuds. So with great sound quality, great battery life when there's not any bugs, and amazing, amazing sound quality, I mean, why wouldn't you buy the WF-1000XM4s? God, that name is such a mouthful. Please, Sony, change it. Anyway, uh, one of the reasons being the price. These start at $280. Now, granted, it is, you know, New Year's, Black Friday stuff, sales, and coming up on the New Year, you're probably going to find some clearance sales for when the new XM5s come out as this has been out for about a year and a half now. But I would advise you to never buy these earphones at full price because that's highway robbery. They don't, they shouldn't have charged that much at the beginning. Probably should have been around 250 to compete with the AirPods. But the fact that now you can probably find them on Amazon for around $180, that's a steal of a deal, especially when you compare those to the Galaxy Buds 2 Pro and the AirPods Pro second gen. I mean, that's, these are just much better sounding earbuds than both of those for the same price. That's a steal of a deal. So if you can find these on discount, I'd say buy them. These are a really, really great deal. All right, that's the video. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.